Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mackenzie, a fifth grade teacher in Northern California, sharing new teacher tips every week. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top five Google Chrome tips and tricks to help you stay more organized. If you're like me, you have way too many tabs open at all times on your computer. So today I wanna to help you get your tabs more organized so you can be more productive and efficient. And your students won't be waiting on you as you search your sea of tabs to find what you wanna show them. Now, before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up that really helps support this channel and it helps other teachers discover this content. Now let's open up Google Chrome and jump right into it. One way to get all of those tabs organized on your computer is to create tab groups. You can now group your tabs based on subject or class period or day of the week so that you can easily open up all the tabs that you need. The first thing you will need to do is select the tabs you want to put in a group. If on a Mac, I can hold down shift to select the tabs or command to select the individual tabs if they're not right next to each other. Once they are selected, I will right click and select add tabs to new group. They will now be in the same group and this little box pops up where I can give it a name. I will choose to organize my tabs right now based on subject. So I will name this one science and select a color. You can also open up a new tab if you wanna add one to the group. I can ungroup to break them apart. I can close the group, which will exit them all out of the window or open them all up in their very own window. I can also drag and drop other tabs into the group or select multiple tabs that are open and add them to a group that's already been created. This is what it will look like when I make tab groups for every subject. And now when I click on each tab, it will expand the tabs for that group when I'm ready to use them and collapse them when I don't need them. There are so many ways you can organize your tab groups. You can do it based on subject, by day of the week, or if you teach multiple class periods so that they're really easy to find throughout the day. Now, if you want your group of tabs ready to use every time you open up Chrome, you can go into the settings, click on startup, and select continue where you left off. Now, every time you open Chrome, all of your groups have been saved and they are ready for you to use. My second tip is to pin your tabs. This is really helpful because it opens up some precious real estate on that window. To do this, find the tab you want to pin and right click, select pin tab, and that will anchor it all the way to the left so you can find it easily. It takes up less space so you can also see more tabs that you do have open. Notice when the tab is pinned, it no longer has that little X, so it's harder to accidentally close a tab. It's really all there is to it, and if you wanna unpin a tab, just right click and select unpin. Pinning your tab just makes it a lot easier to find those tabs that you use the most. Now, do keep in mind, the more tabs that you have open on a window, the slower your computer can be, so always try to minimize the amount you have open. My third tip is to organize your tabs into folders. Now, before I knew this trick, every morning I would walk over to my computer and open the exact same six tabs every single morning. Now I can just click this folder and they will all open right away. This was a total game changer. Now to do this, I'm going to open up every website that I want bookmarked. This includes my Google Classroom, Weekly Agenda, Morning Message, Morning Welcome Slide, my Brain Break video, whatever websites I want to have open. I'm now going to go up to the top and select Bookmark All Tabs and create a new folder. Let's call it Morning Work right now. Now I can see the folder when I open up Chrome and I can right click the folder and select open all six. Now all six of those tabs will open and be ready to use. Now, if you don't see your bookmark folder show up, then you just need to go into your Chrome settings and click appearance. Then make sure that show bookmarks bar is turned on. That way you can see all of your folders. Organizing your bookmark websites into these folders can be really helpful. You can create a folder for each subject, which will be helpful when accessing those sites that you always need. To organize your bookmarked websites into folders, you can also just go up to the top where it says bookmarks and select bookmark manager. This is going to open up your bookmark manager in those Chrome settings, and then you will see all of the websites that you have bookmarked and create new folders here. Now when you open up Chrome, you'll see all those folders that you made. You can hover over it, click it, and see what websites are in each folder, so you can easily open up any website. 
This was a total game changer. That honestly just saves me seconds, minutes in the morning that I could really use to go get me my coffee. This is very similar to using tab groups like I first mentioned, so definitely use whatever works best for you. My fourth tip is to manage the audio. So I don't know about you, but when you have so many tabs open, sometimes it's really hard to tell where all of that audio is coming from. You might have YouTube open and Spotify, and maybe there's an ad playing on one of them. So I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to manage the audio coming from different tabs. So on the tab, it will show this little audio icon if there's audio coming from that tab. So without even jumping over to that website, you can easily right click and select mute site. Now you won't be able to hear anything coming from that website. Now, say you wanna share your screen with your students, but you also wanna be listening to music with them. I have my tab open at my Google Slideshow that I wanna use with my students for the lesson, but then I also have this tab that is playing music from YouTube. I don't have to jump back to that tab. Instead, I can have my tab open and then notice this little music note icon that shows up over here. This actually opens up a mini player feature. I can use this to control the music without having to actually go back to the tab where the music is coming from. I can click forward, I can pause it, I can press play, or I can even select picture in picture so I can view it while having another tab open. Now, say you have multiple tabs with audio open, like if you have Spotify in one and YouTube in another. You can actually open that mini player up and both of them are going to pop up for you to control. So you can press play and pause as needed or if you wanna skip a song, I can use that mini player to actually control both of them even if I am not on those tabs. These tricks have been really helpful in managing the audio, especially when you have so many different tabs open. Tip number five are some keyboard shortcuts. I always love these because it just makes me able to move around these tabs a lot faster. You can use shift and command to actually select multiple tabs at once, and then you can just slide them back and forth, reorganize them in an order that will be helpful to you. You can also just jump to different tabs. So if you wanna jump to tab two, I can click command two and it will jump to that second tab. If I wanna jump to tab four, I can click command for and it will jump to the fourth tab. Another one I always use is Command T and that will open up a new tab in the same window and Command W will exit out of the tab. I have found these keyboard shortcuts to be really helpful just so that I can navigate all of my tabs a little quicker so that I can be more productive. All right, there you have it. Those are my top five Google Chrome tips and tricks to help you keep all of those tabs a lot more organized. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, just a reminder to click that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing for all my newest teacher tips. And I hope to see you again next week.